Hold on. Money, bitches. Hold on. Excuse me. My name, bitches. Hold on. Money, bitches. Hold on. Excuse me. My name, bitches. Hold on. I just handle my business and roll out. I've been watching a lot of, like, one of my favorite podcasts is the No Jumper Podcast. And uh, if you know anything about the No Jumper Podcast, they have um, a lot of different personalities. I mean, they got um, AD, uh, they got T-Rail, they got Blasey, I might not name all of them, they got House Phone. Like, all these different personalities. Poetic Flacco is one of the um, one of the newer personalities. They also got, like, Gina and, like, uh, and Duno, which is one of their uh, Hispanic hosts as well. One of their Hispanic personalities, right? So, if you haven't been paying attention to this podcast, man, things have been getting very, very shaky. You get what I'm saying? They're getting very, very shaky. And my question to all y'all, any fans of the No Jumper podcast, do y'all actually think that Adam 22 really cares about these people? You know what I'm saying? Really cares about these hosts. You know what I'm saying? Because um, in California, there's a lot of politics. And what I mean by politics, there's a lot of gang politics. You get what I'm saying? And they have a lot of people that are kind of like associated with the streets and associated in these gang politics. For example, um, T-Rail is associated with the Hoover Crips, right? Um, AD is associated with another part of the Crips, right? And then you got Duno, who's who's associated with like the Hispanic hoods. You get what I'm saying? His mom is like um, a immig- like a not in a in a derogatory statement statement, but she's an immigrant. She she came from Mexico. You get what I'm saying? First generation, you know. Um, and my question is, do y'all think that no jump uh, that Adam Twenty Two really cares about these hosts? Because um, I think this happened last week. Okay, uh, last week. They had like, ugh, it got real fickle to where um, they were kind of like some people thought that they were like race baiting into into starting a war uh, against Hispanics and African Americans. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which is a very fickle relationship. Um, I'm from San Antonio, Texas. You get what I'm saying? We have black and Hispanic. You feel me? And um, I went to a a school called Judson High School where we used to have race riots. You get what I'm saying? Uh, It used to be black versus um, Hispanic riots all the time. You know what I'm saying? The cops would bring the paddy wagon up there and throw a bunch of uh, uh, Hispanics and blacks in there because there used to be big uh, race fights. You get what I'm saying? But I'm also uh, from San Antonio where my uh, neighbor, Javier, was my brother. That's like my brother. Like, you can't tell me, like, we weren't related. You get what I'm saying? And he was a whole different race. I'm from San Antonio where uh, my people from the west side, when they woke up, they heard roosters and they um, Hispanic neighbors used to have horses. They used to let them ride and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? So I understand the Hispanic and the African-American relationship. You get what I'm saying? So that's neither here nor there. Um, so uh, basically... Um, po- one of their uh, personalities, Poetic Flacco, put up a post saying a guy by the name of um, American Cholo uh, said the N-word. And uh, I guess the Hispanics in California were very mad at it. Um, did he say the N-word? I saw the video. Of, yes, he did. But what wasn't posted was the context in which he said the n-word well american cholo basically was saying i had a homeboy that came out and said that um i can't mess with any of these n-words you get what i'm saying and he said hey man we're not getting down like that out here uh his homeboy got out from prison he said hey man we're not getting down like that out here um out here you know what i'm saying we, we we don't speak like that you know what i'm saying and we we get along with them you know what i'm saying it's different out here and that's the context in which he used it should he have used it hell no not with the gr and i'm I'm from San Antonio. Whether it's here nor there, our Hispanics down here they say they say nigga all the time. Let's be honest, they say nigga all the time, uh, and it's just it's not it's a term of endearment here, and they use it. You know what I'm saying? Whether you like it or not, that's what happens here. Let's just let's just be honest. So um, yeah, so that happened, and uh, American Cholo and a lot of Hispanics were very mad. It all started from a song uh, that. Uh, 
a rapper T Rail, I mean a rapper T Rail, a rapper Tiger had, which is T Rail's homeboy, I Karumba. Tiger has apologized for his music video for the I Karumba after receiving backlash over perpetrating Mexican stereotypes. Speaking with Power 106 and American Cholo podcaster Gil, who has been critical of the video, Tiger said that he didn't want to hurt anyone with the video. American Cholo pointed out that the visual has been accused of depicting racist caricatures. The video opens up with Tiger playing the character in a fat suit eating chips and guacamole. In which he, uh, they say he like didn't the video was very stereotypical it was a stereotype of like hispanic it had like bullfight in and they thought it was all disrespectful and he had like a lot of the stuff in the, in their culture that was completely wrong but um do i think tiger meant that out of disrespect no uh because tiger's been adopting a lot of the um, hispanic uh culture and i think a lot of his fans are hispanic especially being from los angeles you get me so yeah but American Cholo and uh, it's another rapper. I, I forget what the hell his name is. They um they sat down and Tiger end up like agreeing and taking the video down, which is neither here nor there. So um with all this happening, all this happening, all this putting out uh that American Cholo said the N word with all this uh uh name calling because a dude named Tariq Rashid got into it with American uh Cholo in which he said um. He called American Cholo a Mexicoon. Now, all that name calling, bruh, it's, we got to go back to the same hoods. He called, he called, um, American Cholo a, a Mexicoon and, uh, American Cholo called him a ghetto coon. Bro, both names are fucked up. Like, you shouldn't, these are fucking derogatory statements. You shouldn't even, I've never even heard of a motherfucker calling somebody a Mexicoon. That shouldn't be stated you know what i'm saying and then they live in a hood where the hispanic and black bro we go back to the same hoods and the relationship is so fickle that you should really watch what comes out of your mouth all right y'all grew up at a time when the race riots was crazy it was Most cracking definitely. and i even talked about on the news today that i remember when i was in middle school you feel me blacks and mexicans didn't get along yeah, like no, that for sure you know for what sure. i'm saying when i got to high school it got a little better and now we here we here where we are now you know what I'm but adam 22 uh, refuses to take the post down in which um, was misquoted exactly how American Cholo said the um, N-word in which Duno lives, uh, Duno is their Hispanic um, personality, lives in the hood. He still lives in the hood. So with, with all y'all posting, he still got to go back to his hood. He happened, and, and, and for correct me when I'm, when I'm wrong, when you assumed that I was going against our people and when you called me, we had that conversation. Yes. You're like, damn, homie, I wish I would have had that conversation. When this video went up and you did the no jumper thing and you said, Duno, you trying to have a bra. I, I just woke up from selling out the show with El Rey Theater with all Latino cast and and I never once, I didn't even know that you did that. I didn't even know that people were tagged. I seen the video right. from another blog of Los Angeles that's mostly pro-black post that video. Right. And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure you guys just take, uh, to me, you don't seem like a racist. To me, you're not a racist. I've seen you work with a, you just had glasses. I think you had glasses, Malona. Right. Like, mm -hmm. I and mean, well, we had a conversation of the thing, but the narrative being pushed that I'm I'm trying to take you down and because I don't get and and no, me and, and I, I'm thinking it's no, it's the platform. Listen, no jumper. Let's say that's your hood, and your hood literally went over there, smutting me up, crossed out my shit, and I'm coming to you guys. Hey, homie, you know me. Oh no, we're good. I say yeah, but you guys are still crossing us out. You he felt unsafe. And AD, um, another personality personality of the No Jumper podcast, even stated like, hey, man, take that down. You know, Duno is uh, feeling unsafe. Um, Adam 22 out of his own mouth says, I'd rather die than take that down. So you don't give a fuck about your 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 co your co-host, your host, your personalities, your employees. You don't give a damn about their safety. All you care about is... Um, making content and what's crazy is all these black and brown um brothers and sisters are working under this white man which i don't care you know what i'm saying i'm not it's like kevin gay said it's two type of people it's uh real people and fake people but the shit that happened with um adam 22 was some fake ass shit because you don't care about your uh personalities um safety at all you let this man go he he has to go to his neighborhood um every day every night his mom probably live in that neighborhood and he's saying what you posted or what no what poetic flaco posted made him unsafe where he lived and you didn't give a fuck you didn't give a shit because you're a white man and you're gonna go to your big ass house you don't give a fuck about your employees Adam 22, I mean, uh, AD, um, has been, uh, 
saving y'all for the longest. He saved he saved y'all when um when a poetic poetic Flacco got into it with sixteen shot him in which he had to stand up and play bodyguard. I talk. What'd you say, Kevin? <laughs> bro, suck my dick, bro. That's a, hey, stop bro. playing before I smack hey, bro, shit out. Do it. Because some shit, some mixy shit that once again Adam Twenty Two put together. He put put together a, a interview with Poetic Flacco and um, somebody he basically knew. He he pretty much had beef with her. They they were having words. And when the drama goes down, where's Adam Twenty Two? When when the sixty uh, Hispanics pulling up to y'all's uh, to y'all's podcast area, where's Adam Twenty Two out playing poker? Prove that that was a bullshit. Doing a, I think a ten million dollar poker tournament, but we ain't making no excuses for nobody. <laughs> we get, we here, whatever the situation is. You feel me? So play this, play this first. Okay. Um, on all this stuff, so we have nothing against Americans at all. That was never. Uh, it was never part of a big plan to like smear his name or anything like that. That was never the case. It was just the fact that he had been in the news of late with the whole Tiger situation, had just had this big Power 106 interview come out. And then all of a sudden we see Tariq Nasheed posting these videos of him saying some objectively racist sounding things. It's newsworthy. We got to post about it. Now, I do agree that the uh, the clips, the, 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 the parts were taken out of context where it was just American Cholo telling a story about, you know, how he uh, ran into some guy and the guy called him the N-word, whatever. I, I, I'm not, like, taking issue with that since he was just quoting somebody else. I get it. The other stuff, Colin Tariq, a ghetto coon over and over and over. Meanwhile, he leaves a AD there to play protective man, the black man. I ain't saying homie racist. I'm just saying you go home to your big ass house and do your porn while you let these um, African American and brown brothers out there fend for themselves. Meanwhile, it's fickle and, and, and they're having uh, words between each other. Good thing AD a good a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? A good brother to where he can um he's cool with 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 different parts and different areas and um and able to sit down and talk and he's very mature. You get what I'm saying? So man, I just want to, want to uh, get y'all's opinion on what y'all thought. Um, do y'all think that Adam Twenty Two cares about these personalities? And if, you know, because they still got to go to their houses. Meanwhile, this man is living in fucking bubble fuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he got this black man poetic flacco from North Dakota that don't give a fuck and don't know much about the black culture. You know what I'm saying? And even though he's black, but he's, he's not a part of the hip hop culture running his mouth. And then when the shit gets real, hey, they out. I want to know y'all's opinion. Hey, Mitch Fit, I'm out.